Jojo with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. We're going to make a really, really cute project today. I'm really looking forward to it. So sit back, get comfortable. I'll show you real quick what we're going to use for supplies. That's a different project right there. Uh, I guess I really need to lower the camera a little bit too. It's not quite right. Or maybe if I, oh my goodness, everything's falling out over here. I'm sorry. Maybe if I back up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to be using, I'm really excited about this, uh, if you can't tell. This, we're going to be using, I am going to be using a already made burlap sack that I think came with beads from Amazon. Um, there's all kinds of like, I think like the Dollar Tree, I can't reach that one. Anyways, this is what I'm going to be using as an already um a sack we'll just call it a sack okay and then I'm gonna be using this little wooden piece from the Dollar Tree and I made a little uh, bunny bait with my Cricut using the Dollar Tree vinyl we'll be using that as well but if you don't have a Cricut you can use Dollar Tree letters to do that then inside here is the Spanish moss. We're gonna be using some of that. And we're gonna be using some of these adorable, I'm calling them bottle brush um, carrots, also from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, so let me just get uh, all set up and organized here. Let's see. The first thing, oh, and I forgot to show you this. We're gonna use some fiber fill or stuffing from an old pillow or you could even we're just going to stuff this you could even stuff it with dollar dollar tree bags wouldn't hurt it at all so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and start stuffing i'm not going to stuff it all the way with this because i have to put some of my spanish moss in here as well but i do want to stuff it somewhat and you know what I should get some rocks before I go any further I do want this to have a little weight to it so we need either beans or rice or rocks so let me put you on pause for a second and gather up that and then we'll be right back dug out some rocks and they are also from the Dollar Tree I've taped them up. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they're where all the rocks are uh, in the floral section of the Dollar Tree. I love these rocks. They almost look like fish tank rocks to me, but very pretty colors. So let me take the stuffing out and put some rocks. I didn't think of that. I want this to stand up quite nicely on its own. And I need a few more. That, that ought to do. A few more fell out. We'll put those right in. Let's tape that back up so those aren't all over the place. Put those aside. Okay, now I will try to distribute them all over. And now I'll put some stuffing back in. And I don't want this to be too, too full. I just want it to look like a sack of carrots. Put a little bit more fiber fill in. So happy Sunday. I usually don't do, I usually take Sundays off. Uh, this probably, you probably won't see this though until Monday. So happy Monday. Um, but I just, really felt like I was in the mood to do this little craft because it's on my schedule and I've been wanting to do it. Alright, I'm putting more stuffing in here than I originally thought I would, so, but that's just because I don't want to use up all of my, let me see if I cinch this. That's probably good. I'm going to put this back. I'm going to also put my Spanish moss in here too so open that up 
And then how are we gonna do this? I think I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna put some glue from my glue gun on the inside edges, right? And I'll just keep turning it. And then I'm gonna cinch it up so that it's sticking out. We'll try it. We'll try it and see. We don't want to. We don't want to glue our cord, so I have to go below that. So I'm just gonna start with some glue. Where's my finger protector? Because we're gonna need that. And then our moss is gonna make a mess, so we're gonna try to keep that. on our parchment paper. This is a new batch of moss from the Dollar Tree. So you just want to try to get contact with the glue as much as you can. We'll go around again if we have to. And then I am going to just turn it this way, tuck in my stuffing. Add some more glue. Add some more. Whoopsie! Sometimes there's sticks and stuff in our moss. I don't know if that's just lately, it feels like. It feels like a lately thing. Whoops. Stick that moss down. This is a messy messy part but we're going to just try to hold some of that down in there as we go along let's see so let me finish that and i'll be right back for time's sake now it just looks like a a sack of uh moss so far but the hall the middle is still hollow so I'm just going to bring this trash can over and give this a little tiny trim right here. The rest of it looks pretty good, but let me just give this a little haircut. Okay, so that's what we have. So I think we're going to put this aside for a little bit for a minute because we're going to work on our piece of wood here. I'm going to take this tag off the sign on the back and I don't know if I want to shorten that cord. We'll decide that after. But what I do want to do is give this just a little sanding, just a real quick sanding and we're going to stick our Cricut letters on and I printed it out using the washi setting on my Cricut in case you have a Cricut, and I am using press and seal for my transfer tape. I wish I had some alcohol handy. I would actually even put alcohol on this wood, but I don't have any handy. I usually do. Oh, I have some my other station here. I'm going to do that real quick because I think just spraying it with alcohol from the Dollar Tree, I refill the bottle. And then I'm going to take my heat gun and dry it real quick because the alcohol will help the um, adhesive. Just wiped it off a little. But then I want to dry it really good. This wood's been handled and manufactured and sturdy and it's got grease from our skin, from our fingertips. So, I'm just going to do that. Alright, and now, where's the top? Alright, I'm just going to take my bunny bait words off the back of the vinyl paper. Whoopsie. Sometimes we have to be... You know, it can be finicky, but it's still possible. Whoop. Just have to use our patience sometimes. I am very patient. I have, um, have to say, 
my sister has a heck of a time with this vinyl. Um, I can have a hard time too, but most of the time I don't have an issue. I have to say, most of the time it's been A-OK -okay for me. All right, I'm gonna commit to putting it down right there. I'm just eyeballing it, putting it in the middle, and then I'm gonna use my Dollar Tree scraper and burnish that right onto the wood so that it will stay down where we put it. And I like to go from the inside out. That way I know I'm not catching the edges and taking it off. And now the magic happens when I pull this press and seal off, all those letters should stay on our wooden piece. Now, if we didn't use press and seal and we used a transfer tape and it was too sticky for the Dollar Tree, I'm just talking Dollar Tree vinyl, that would probably take our letters back up with it. That's why I'm using press and seal. So now we have bunny bait. And now we're going to take our Waverly Antique Wax. And we're just going to dry brush right over that to look, make it, jish it up and make it look a little antique, a little aged. So we will need a little dry brush for that. And then I think you've seen me a million times. I'm just going to press that down with my fingers and make sure it's on there. Dab it into the cover. Oh, you can't see. I'm dabbing it into just the cover. And then I'm going to get most of that brush dry and take most of that right back off onto a paper towel or anything. And then I like to use my edges as a starting. So I will drag from the edges in and look at the effect we're getting. Can you see that? This is this side. It might not show up yet on camera because I do a little fuzz a little at a time because you can always go back and put more but you cannot take well you could take a little off maybe with a baby wipe but that's just might as well go a little at a time that's what I think so here let's see I went a little heavier there's the effect we're looking for and I'm just going to turn it around and start at the other side and do the same thing just ages it, makes it look a little like it, you know, supposed to be hanging around a little woodshed. And I'm just going to do my little uh, edges a little tiny bit just to make it consist, just to keep it consistent. And sometimes I go around the edges this way as well because it kind of just outlines it and. You know, when I was a little kid, when I did my coloring in a coloring book, I was one of the kids that outlined everything. So I'm an outline girl. Some people didn't um, outline their coloring book pictures. I'd be interesting to know, and um, it'd be funny to see who does that. I wonder if a lot of crafters did that, paid that attention to detail. Okay, so there's our sign. It's so cute. It says bunny butt. Yeah. No bunny butt. I've been doing so many bunny butts. Bunny butt's on my mind. Bunny bait. Get myself a baby wipe here. Oh, I have one open here. Let's see if this one up. Bunny butts are the cutest. Oh my goodness. I have a cute bunny butt canvas um, coming up. I don't have my planner out here with me because I don't know. I didn't bring it out here, but it's in the house, but um, it's coming up really soon. And a bunny butt on a Dollar Tree canvas. All right, let's put some things back that we don't need at the moment. And now we're going to take our little sack back. 
back and we have these fun carrots. I want to use three of them because I want to use an odd number. So we are going to let's open them up. They are so cute. They actually have a little jute cord. So they must be for hanging, but we're not gonna hang ours. So we're gonna just cut that right off. Oh yes, I see here, this one's caught on the staple, but it's supposed to be looped, which is really cute. And it's got spider webs all over it already from their glue gun. So we're just gonna clean those off. And we're gonna cut our little jute string off. So cute though, these carrots are so cute. I am amazed at the Dollar Tree. Again, go Dollar Tree. You know what you're doing. You know what we've been doing. If somebody's watching all of us crafters and uh, you've given us what we want, finally. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Thank, thank you. You did go up on your prices, but I think we're, we'll accept it. We'll accept it this time, Dollar Tree. All right, so, oh my gosh, these are the cutest. These are the cutest. All right, so we're gonna put our bunny bait, which is carrots. Ouch, they're sharp if you hit them straight on. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little glue down on the carrot, a lot of glue. And I'm gonna just put it down, plant it. We should probably pull this. I think we should probably pull this, huh? We should pull our sack first. I want that pulled, so I'm going to pull my sack and tie it before I go any further. Didn't think of that. Ugh, it's a slippery little cord, but that'll do. Alright, so that's all I did was I tied it up. Now I gotta fix this thing. It looks like a curler hanging out of some some frizzy hair. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna stick that down in just a little bit down in there. Alright, there we go. There's one carrot. And now we're gonna stick another one in, probably. Let's just put our finger in and find a, make a little hole. And I'm just going to pull my finger out and stick some glue in there. And stick my next carrot right down in that little hole. Just like that. Cute. And then I'm going to do one more carrot. Turn this one around a little. Now, do I want my one more carrot in the back? Or in the front? I think I want it in the front. So I'm gonna make a little hole with my finger again. I'm gonna, ooh, there's some hot glue down there still. I'm gonna just shove some more hot glue right down in that little hole we made with our finger. Oh, push that hot glue and then push that carrot right down in just like that. Oh, so cute. So cute. All right, so there is our little sack of carrots. So cute, I love it. And now we're gonna hang our little sign like this that says bunny bait. How cute is that? So I have to turn it around and face me. 
And then I didn't know if this string might be a little too long. So let's see what we have here. I might be able, oh yeah, I have to shorten it. So I'm just gonna snip and glue. I'm just gonna snip it, probably about an inch. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that right back on. Hold that down for a second. It might just be cute to um, even glue this right onto the sack. It might have to be glued right on so that we place it where we want it. I just made a total mess of that. Okay. Sorry, I made a total mess of that. So I'm just shortening this little jute cord up. And I'm going to see, see that's a lot shorter now. That's going to work. I was thinking we might be able to use the ties. It's backwards to me, but we might be able to just use these ties. I think we can. If we have to glue it, we can still glue it. I'll tie it three times, just one for good measure. All right. Let's take, oh my gosh, is that cute or what? We got a little hair to get rid of there. Snoop that. Push that down. Oh my gosh, this is it. Now, I do have room for another carrot. Let's see, because it does look like there's something missing here. I don't normally like to do them in even numbers though but let's just see before we get off here you know me I'm always adding something at the last minute oh a little a little raffia bow came off of this one let's see if we can fix that plus it was really a terrible a terrible one to begin with. All right, let's glue this back on and then see if we can, if it looks okay with four. I mean, who's counting, right? That's just kind of my rule, but we might need one here in the back. We gotta bake that bunny, you know, they gotta smell these carrots. <laughs> so we gotta have enough. Um, the thing is, if I put this down in and I want to pull it out, it's going to pull out all this. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, you stand. Stand up good for me. Um, I think we're going to skip it. I like the odd number. I really do. I think that's really cute. You know what we could do though, is I could put um, a few, some bunny greens. Let's do that. Let's put in, I have this one left over. Excuse me for being off camera. Let's put some bunny greens in back here. I think that's what we need to do. Let's put all the bunny greens up at the top of their sticks. I think that'll help. We'll cut their sticks off, throw that away, throw that away, that away, that. All right, so now we'll bunch them together. That's what we needed. All right, let me turn this around. And let's just add some blue globs to our green stems all over the scissors they're dripping all right i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna just stick them right in i gotta hold the bag though so i can oh hot 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 that is adorable how cute is that? I love how that came out, everybody. It's so cute. I want him to just be wrinkled. 
Oh, that is just so cute. We gotta make sure his rocks are in the back. There we go. So he can stand up. You can put more, you can put beans. Is that adorable or what? I want his sign crooked, cause you know, I like things crooked. I want it like that. So this is a great time to give me a thumbs up if you like this project, if you like what you're seeing. Go ahead and share this with your friends, family, and social media. And if you are not already a subscriber, you'll want to subscribe because when I get to 250 subscribers, we are gonna do a giveaway. And you'll need to be subscribed to be a winner. And while you're there, hitting that subscribe button go ahead and ring that notification bell because when you ring that notification bell youtube will let you know each and every time that i upload a new video and you'll want to know when i upload a new video because we have a lot of fun over here at angel creations and until the next time that we see each other i hope that you are healthy and you be good and do good bye now oh this stick sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs>